searching for the good in our neighborhoods and each other. Not just finding what's wrong, but what's right. A true reflection of Cincinnati. Find the good in your mornings. Good morning, Tri-State. This is WCPO 9 News. Thanks for choosing us. I'm Evan Millward. Here's a look at some of today's top stories. Public health officials are now investigating several COVID-19 cases among Miami University students. They say they're linked to off-campus parties near the school. Those parties health officials have been warning about happened near Miami between May 8th and May 16th. The Butler County General Health District says anyone who might have been at any of these gatherings needs to monitor for fever or other symptoms of COVID-19. Missing 18 year old Madison Bell has been found safe. The teen was first reported missing last Sunday after telling her mom she was going to a tanning salon, but she never showed up. That same day, her cell phone and car with the keys in the ignition were found in a nearby church parking lot. Thousands of people had expected to continue searching for her this morning. The sheriff's office is not releasing any information about where Bell is located at her request. And today, loved ones got to say their final goodbyes to former Kentucky First Lady Phyllis George. She died last week after battling a blood disorder. George was also a former Miss America and the first female co-anchor of the NFL Today pregame show, paving the way for women to become sportscasters. Her visitation was held hours ago at the Kentucky Castle in Versailles. A private service will be held on Monday. Sherry, an active weather evening. Yeah, and the showers and storms that we're finding all firing up uh, as a warm front passes over the area will start to fade out as we go into the overnight. So we'll see mostly cloudy skies then. 65 degrees with the winds out of the south. Going to be a muggy overnight period. Tomorrow we'll get to 85. I think rain chances go down just a bit as we won't have the warm front lifting over, but certainly that warm front will have done its job. Take a look at the temperatures as we go through the next seven days. 85 tomorrow 87 for Memorial Day and we have chances of rain each and every day as we go through this new week ahead with the exception of Saturday rain is likely on Thursday that should be more widespread rain and storms and that should also help take the temperatures down back closer to normal into the upper 70s by Saturday